for the next talk, we're going to talk about optimization of benefits, benefits to access to transplant. And the speaker is going to be Marshala Elori. There's no question Marshala doesn't know. And if something needs an answer, there's only one person you need to ask. Good morning. My name is Marcella Elori, and I'm the financial coordinator for Transplant Unit here at Downstate. And my job is to make sure that patients have enough insurance for transplant. And if there are issues, I try to find ways to work around them. Um, so I'm going to start. So adequate insurance is very important for transplant. Patients must be able to afford the testing, the surgery, and most importantly, after transplant, the medications. Um, they must be able to, and if, if they can't, then as they've said before, if a person can't afford their medications, they either don't take them, they stretch them, and then they put their risk themselves at risk of losing their kidney. So this is my first case study. What happens if you have coverage for all your transplant care, but the transplant center doesn't take your insurance? That happens because every, every hospital doesn't take every insurance. You could find another center that does take your insurance for the transplant, or you can have your center request a single case agreement for, from your insurer. We have a patient, Mr. MW. He came to us in 2003 to be evaluated. He was placed on a deceased donor wait list later that year. In 2004, uh, I, I, contacted his, I contacted his insurance company to request authorization to continue his active wait listing because at that time I was new at Downstate and I didn't realize that his insurer was, did not cover transplants at Downstate. Um, they told me, they reaffirmed that Downstate was not authorized to do transplants for them. And so now what do I do? And this is what I did for this patient so he could be transplanted here at Downstate. Because the patient had out of network benefits, they were able to, the insurance company was willing to negotiate a contract spe specifically for Mr. MW, that's an SCA single case agreement. The contract covered the cost of the transplant and the cost of the donor evaluation because he had a living donor, surgery, hospital stay, and 90 days of post operative care once the donor was discharged. MW was left with little to no out-of-pocket costs when we negotiated the contract. He had a successful living-related kidney transplant performed in May of 2020, I'm sorry, May 2005. He did well, his donor was happy, he was happy, we were all happy, and as Ryan said, he did his thing after that. I don't know. Okay, the second case study. The second case study involves a young woman, an undocumented immigrant from Ecuador, <laughs> MY. She began hemodialysis treatments in 2019 in Ecuador. She immigrated to the U.S. and began hemodialysis treatments in New York in March 2020. She was initially evaluated in April of 2022, at which time she had only emergency Medicaid coverage, which we couldn't take for a transplant. Since emergency Medicaid doesn't pay for organ transplants, um, her evaluation was put on hold and she was referred to NILPI. They did their magic, Alakazam. Um, she got her insurance, an essential plan on July 1st of 2022. She was placed on the deceased donor kidney transplant list on September 27, 2022. She received a kidney transplant. Oh, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> she received a kidney transplant later in later that year. Now she's this is her in the bed and she's living her best life. She's happy. She's you know she can live her life. Her family's really happy and we're happy because she's is very sweet and very nice. And all of this is thanks to Nilpi because without them she probably would still be on dialysis. Okay, and that is it for me. And I just want to say that. I've been here 20 years, and in 20 years prior to last year, I think we did five undocumented patients. Three of them were, or four of them were children, and one was a woman that was, you know, two were people married to a citizen that had insurance through their job, and that was how they could get their insurance. And we, other than that, we didn't do kidney transplants for undocumented patients. Now we can if they get their insurance, and everything is right with the world. That is it for me. Bye.